Back in February, we all got very excited about this frankly terrible photo from the James Webb Space Telescope. It's blurry and it shows the exact same star 18 times. Now, just over a month later, we have some way better images to get excited about. After over 30 years of development, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, finally launched on Christmas Day 2021. After a month or so of space travel, it reached its destination orbit at a place called Lagrange Point 2, over a million miles from Earth, and work is now underway to align all of the instruments on board so that the spacecraft actually functions as intended. You see, the primary mirror of the Webb telescope, the big gold one you can see in all of these images, has a 6.5 meter diameter, meaning that it's way bigger than any rocket can carry. In order to launch the telescope into space, it had to be folded up, and once it had been carried out of the Earth's atmosphere and safely into the vacuum of space, it had to unfold in the most high-stakes origami ever. High stakes because the thing cost over $10 billion, and if it had failed at this point, it would have been totally useless, and there would have been no real way to fix it. In order to achieve this incredible unfolding feat, the mirror was made of 18 individual hexagonal segments that should eventually function as one perfect mirror. A month ago, we got this image from the telescope the very first ever released from Webb. It should be an image of a single star, but the mirror segments hadn't yet been properly aligned. So instead of functioning as a single huge mirror, each mirror was pointed in a slightly different direction and they were each acting individually. JWST was basically behaving like 18 separate telescopes, taking 18 separate images. This is why we see the same star 18 times in this photo. And the task for the Webb team ever since then was to move the mirrors and align them so they can behave as one single telescope. This is now exactly what they've achieved. And today they released this incredible image of a single star. This is exciting because in the photo they took of a single star, we actually see a single star, not 18 copies of the same thing. We were excited about the first blurry repetitive image because it was the first image, but we're excited about this one because it's absolutely beautiful. And it means that the telescope is working as it should be. To quote the official press release, the optics will perform to specification or even better, which is a very uninspiring way of saying that this is one of the most important days in astronomy for a long time. And it shows that we really didn't waste $10 billion. As a cooler side to this image, the six starry lines coming from the star are due to the hexagonal shape of Webb's mirror. And the extra horizontal line is apparently due to one of the struts that holds the secondary mirror in place. Now, let's take a quick look at how they actually do the alignments of the mirror segments, because it's incredibly difficult and it's incredibly cool. The amount they're moving each mirror is absolutely tiny, and they can even flex and warp the surface of each mirror segment a little bit to make sure they absolutely focus the light perfectly. It all started from that image of 18 of the same star. The team identified which of the 18 mirror segments took each image, and then they gently moved and warped each of the segments, along with the secondary mirror, which is this one here, to remove all of the artifacts in each copy of the star. This process was called phase retrieval, and it removed effectively all of the aberration and gives us 18 perfectly focused versions of the star. They then slowly tilted each of the segments so that the light from each one would overlap in the detector inside the telescope. This process is called image stacking, and it may sound like the end of the story, but there is a difference between overlapping 18 images and getting them to actually work together to produce one single image. At this stage, the segments are still acting like individual telescopes, and they're not acting like one cooperative unit. The next stage is the one that turns all of these individual segments into a single monolithic instrument. This process is called coarse phasing and it involves moving the pistons behind the segments to change their height and angle relative to each other. And once they're perfectly in place, they all act together to produce a single coherent image. The final phase is called the fine phasing phase, which is admittedly quite fun to say. And here they take the mirror as a whole, as one single object. And in order to focus the image it produces, they actually don't move the mirrors anymore, but rather they move the lens on the detector itself inside the telescope. There are actually four detectors on board JWST and they've only done this to one of them so far, so the other ones will follow soon. But what they do is they move the detector by small amounts until it sees a perfectly clear image. At this point, the only thing left to do is to repeat this process for the other three detectors and then we're ready for science time. All of the alignments should be done by early May and this will be followed by a couple of months of science instrument prep work 
I'm not really sure what that involves, but when I do, I'll let you know. And then there'll be full resolution and science data releases in the summer. I, for one, cannot wait. This whole alignment process was helped by the JWST selfie that was also released alongside the first image we saw. Because if you know the exact shape of the mirrors, it tells you how you should warp and move them in order to get them to work together and produce a single image. This picture here actually shows you an updated selfie and you can see how perfect it looks now. There's no light leakage or segments lighting up more than the others, just one perfect looking primary mirror. Web is now working so well that it's been described by the team as the highest resolution infrared images taken from space ever. The resolution we're seeing is actually even better than the scientists expected or modeled, and now it has a resolution that's about 28 times better than the previous infrared telescope in space, which was called the Spitzer telescope. It's so good that we can even see entire galaxies in the background of this image, and we can even see some details of their structure and shape, even though they're not the focus of this picture. Also, thanks to Astro Grant on Twitter, we can take a look at a previous image of the star from another telescope called Gaia, which is an ESA space mission to map the Milky Way galaxy. We can easily see how much better resolution we have from Webb, and our new image is so much more beautiful. This isn't the only thing involving Gaia we have though, because Gaia actually also released this image on Twitter, in a lovely exchange with the Webb Twitter. This image might look a little bland, but these few pixels here are actually the James Webb Space Telescope, hiding behind its sunshield. This is an image from onboard Gaia, over a million kilometers from where Webb is. And as they say, it makes an awesome looking postcard to those of us back on Earth. I hope you enjoyed this look at the latest Webb news. If you did, please consider subscribing for more JWST news and updates, plus loads more videos about all things cosmology and astronomy. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.